How did I come to love art? I've just always drawn. I like to see when you take a pencil or paper and you've got an idea and then watch it like come to life in front of you. So you'd like us to create a wedding cake that depicts kind of where you were when you proposed to her? Yes. Is that correct? Can you describe that for me? In the mountains with a beautiful waterfall. It's gorgeous. There's just something special about doing the wedding cake because it's one of the most important days in her life. And so I really want to get that right. Then I want to make sure I do my best and get everything just right. And now I don't get to do that. From an artistic standpoint, Jack could probably work in any medium that he wants to. And I think that he understood that this was the way that he wanted to express himself. I have been in the, the baking industry since 1979. In my, my sales role now, in, in my current position, I get out to see an awful lot of retail and, and, and wholesale bakers. And, and uh, pretty often this, this situation with Jack will come up and they'll say, well, you live in Denver, what's happening? And the vast majority of people are, are hugely behind Jack and, and, and hugely su support his efforts to, to try to set this right. When you talk to Jack about the toll that the case has taken on him, you can almost see the pain in his eyes when he talks about not being able to interact with the couple. He loves to be able to invest his creative artistic talents in creating something that really is the beginning of what he believes is an inherently religious relationship. And he puts a piece of himself in it, which is I think why he's so great at designing wedding cakes. I came to be a part of Masterpiece Cake Shop simply because it was my family's business. I was 13 when we opened, and I've just been there ever since. I think the reason people called and just had vile things to say about my dad or to my dad um, was because they had a misunderstanding of who he was and what he had done. It's not about refusing business. It's about having the freedom for him to artistically create something that allows him to honor Christ. When I started Masterpiece Cake Shop, I wanted to have a really good cake, but I wanted it to be known for the artwork. And what I want it to be is a place where I can create art for people in my community, and I want them to know that cake came from Jack. Jack is a man of serious faith. It influences everything he does. From the day he opened the cake shop, to how he named it, to how he treats his employees and helps his customers, to the kinds of cakes that he designs. And Jack is just one of many creative professionals that knew right away what cakes, what events he couldn't participate in. He has declined to participate in Halloween. He doesn't do cakes that are anti-American. Jack has even declined cakes to celebrate divorce. He has declined to do cakes that would be offensive or derogatory towards individuals, including LGBT individuals. There are a host of different events and themes that Jack has declined to do because he will not violate his core convictions when he's creating his cake art. I remember that day very clearly, the day that our lives changed, possibly forever. We were helping some customers and some gentlemen walked in. So I went around the desk and introduced myself. So I'm Jack, David, Charlie, pleased to meet you. We're here to look at wedding cakes. So it's for our wedding. And so right away I know this is not a, a cake that I can make. This is not an event that I can create for. So I tell them that and so they're kind of surprised, like, what do you mean? So I'll sell you cookies, birthday cakes, whatever else I've got, but I just can't make this one. Then the phone rings about 20 minutes later and somebody calls me up and says, are you the guy who just turned away the gay couple? So, no, I turned away a cake that they asked for, but I would never turn them away. Very quickly after the phone started ringing and then ringing again and then again, and then very quickly we knew that uh, something big was happening. And my dad told the rest of us not to answer the phone, mainly because of the content of the phone calls. And it was like that for weeks afterwards. 
It didn't just end with the death threats and the hateful phone calls. Uh, Charlie and David picketed Jack's store, Masterpiece Cake Shop, and then they filed a complaint with the Civil Rights Commission. When we first heard about what was happening, we contacted Jack and offered to provide assistance. And when he found out that he was being sued and he was served with the papers, he reached out to us and we were glad to help and to defend his rights and the rights of all creative professionals. The administrative law judge not only ruled against Jack by saying that he needed to stop doing wedding cakes altogether or violate his conscience, it ordered him to retrain his employees as well. And then they ordered him to report on a quarterly basis to the government what his artistic decisions were and what cakes he declined to create. We had a, a good wedding business. Um, good business all the way around. I had like 10 people working for me just shortly before David and Charlie came in. We're down to four now. Now they're not there. So people move on, they get other jobs, but there's still a hole that it's not always their choice to leave or my choice to get rid of them. It's like somebody else decided you can't do this and so the choice was made for us. So we've lost those relationships as well and that's as hard or harder than the money. In June of 2017, Jack learned that the United States Supreme Court would hear his case. Jack represents what a pluralistic society looks like. Jack represents the freedom that we all should have to be able to disagree, to be able to be tolerant of one another, to be able to understand that the right of free speech, the right of the free exercise of religion, if we want it for ourselves, then we must extend it to others. You can support same-sex marriage and support Jack Phillips and Masterpiece Cake Shops. In fact, you should. And he's had plenty of customers come in and tell him just that that they may be from the LGBT community, they may be of a different belief on marriage, but they understand that freedom is at stake and that we have to provide the space necessary for all of us to be able to live consistent with our beliefs. I don't want anybody to have to go through what my family has gone through. If we went at the Supreme Court, it's not just about us. That's freedom for everyone. That's freedom to be able to create something that goes in accordance with your convictions. Well, when we go to the Supreme Court and I stand on those steps knowing the importance of this case, someone like me, a regular, ordinary person, citizen, to be able to go there, have them look at this very important issue through my eyes, Nobody could conceive of that. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs>